everyone, it's me Venus Gospel and welcome back to Venus Plays GTA Vice City. This is part 33 and the last time we finished off the la 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 la, welcome back to me, the film studios missions and yeah that was eventful to say the least. Um, it was a porn studio and we basically stopped it from going out of business. It was like crazy. And this woman, like Candy Suck, she was like doing movies in this, the background and it was all like <laughs> and a bit of, but yeah, um, yeah we're done with all that and we can now get money from there and yeah it's 7,000 and now we're going to buy the Malibu Club which is long awaited, very 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 long awaited and look, 120,000, I managed to grind up loads of money from just going around all the properties and doing random missions, taxi missions and vigilante missions and whatnot. And thank God, finally here. And yeah, let's go inside. Because no, we don't just stand outside to get the markers this time. We have a club. Yeah! The Wang Chung Dance All Days Club, I like to call it. Because it usually plays in here and it's like one of my favourite songs from this game. Ah, I think we'll go for a wee dance, shall we? There's a marker there, but mm, I just nah, nah. We're dancing. Um, oh, I'm thinking about going for the ah, dance. <laughs> Even though you can't really do much, but yeah, we'll do a little tea bag motion, and then a wee swift ooh, in days and my dance. Oh, days. <laughs> Look at this guy, he's going ham. Oh, he's got them moves. But not like Jagger. <laughs> anyway, let's go for the first mission, see what this is all about. This mission is the no escape mission. Tommy! Hey, Tommy, look at this. This is great. I've got us this mini bar installed. We got a whole bar downstairs, Ken. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, I got the chalkboard you asked for. Ah, that's the benefit of a law school education. The ability to follow instructions. No, I need a safe man. Oh, all right, well, let me think. Safe, safe, safe. I got it. This guy will blow you away. Ah, no, nah, that schmuck. He's on the inside. Where inside? In a police headquarters cell awaiting transfer. I think he's about to get paroled. Wow. Ken Rosenberg gets a big opportunity, gets a big property like the Malibu Club. First thing he does, take crack. Sniffs crack. So yeah, the majority of these missions is... Uh, Pretty much a similar pattern. You have to go and uh, like rescue or compete with um, a certain person. Like one, one of the people we'll go after is uh, like an expert with guns. Another one is an expert with like uh, cracking safes and whatnot. And another one's uh, an expert at um, was it driving? Yeah. Even though we're like pretty much good at all of that. I don't know if Tommy's good at cracking safes, you know, but, oh well, and yeah, there's a little glitch here, where Tommy tries to walk through a wall, but yeah. This this guy is um, the guy who can crack safes and whatnot, and he'll be assisting us in doing the big job, which is, um, as we all know, the last mission, and it's robbing a bank. Going to be a bummer, well, not a bummer, but it's going to be tough, I'll tell you that. And yeah, the first time I actually done this no escape mission, I uh, did not heed the words of advice on at the bottom of the screen. I just totally blank it sometimes, and it was saying there's a uniform that, um, well, it didn't say that exactly. It said you'll find something useful in the locker room. So, me being the dumbass that I am, I totally uh, misread it or just didn't read it at all, and yeah. I went and tried to invade a police station and 
that happened at the very start, basically what's happening now, where you've got a four star wanted level and millions of cops swarming you. But yeah, you should be okay, even though there are millions of like, these dudes, you should be fine. So I actually nearly done it when I didn't have the uniform on, so that's uh, okay. Just make sure you clear a path, <laughs> clear a safe path, and yeah, this place is mighty confusing. Damn it! Mm -hmm. Where do I go? Where do I go? Jesus, lead the way. Someone lead the way. <laughs> Man, this place is glitchy and confusing and shit. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh. Alright, yeah. We're invincible now. <laughs> and jump in here. Hopefully Cam Jones doesn't die. Our professional safe cracker. Look at all them desperate to just jump in this car and bust them. And yeah, thank god I got away from that blown up car. Or I would have raged. And yeah, that's my music's quite appropriate for right now. <laughs> and excuse me while I drink some tea whilst driving in my off-road vehicle. Uh, gotta love tea, guys. Cannot beat it. Even though it's slightly cold right now. But, yeah. Hot tea. <laughs> you can't beat hot tea. But yeah. Uh, so we just need to take this guy back to the Malibu Club, I'm sure it is. But it's actually quite difficult when you've got a 4 star wanted level, so just make sure you have a fast vehicle going for you. Oh, wait, no. We need to go to the pain spray first, so. That would be a good idea, considering my tyres blown. And. Yes. Pretty much done the mission now, I mean, it's just. Alright, you take him back to his house first. Ah. I was just thinking it would be the Malibu Club and all. You know, that would make sense, considering. Uh, and further cutscenes that come up, yeah. I actually see him at the Malibu Club all the time. But, yeah, <laughs> I kind of fucked up here, because um, uh, I think I, I don't even know what I've done, but I must have hit a cop or a car by accident, but I didn't actually see it happening. And uh, yeah, I got the wanted star, uh, the wanted level back, so that was a bit of a bummer. But uh, yeah, I can get away now, I'm sure. I do. Oh. Right, yes, we're free. And so is Cam Jones. Now, fortunately, you don't have to drive that far. Um, he's just out over the other side of this bridge, actually, like directly. He's straight ahead, so not too shabby. But yeah, the Malibu Club is my favourite. It is my favourite property. Just because it looks so cool and you can just dance to Wang Chung. Acting all cool and shit, so yeah. It's just a shame it costs so much, but that's understandable. And Cam Jones, we have safely secured your ass, <coughs> as you would say. It doesn't look like much of a safe crack out of me. It just looks like your river ridge, everyday normal guy. And these cars are, these jeep things, or off-road vehicle things, sorry, are actually like insane, and cut. Yeah, I cut there just because I'm just uh, going back to the Malibu Club to do the next mission. There's no point in putting in so much uh, driving that one can't take, so it would just be me driving to there, so that got cutted. Cutted, did, did. Oh, what song have we got now? Ah, never mind. <laughs> Time to do missions. The shootest. I'll explain this in a bit. We need a stick up man, you know one? Hey Tommy, 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 this stuff keeps you sharp, man. Woo! I could be your stick up man. Stick him up, stick him up! You ain't a stick up man, you're an idiot. Now get yourself a drink and shut up. Hey, get out of my way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Relax. Cam, what do you think? Well, the best shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range. 
Fair enough. So yeah. Um, our next uh, person we have to recruit to our mission is Phil Cassidy. And I'll do a little cut here, just to, because uh, I actually tried it the first time and you basically need to get a good score to beat uh, Phil's score because it's a shooting range contest. And I get pulled out of car. But yeah, it's a shooting range contest and you need to beat him. It's a score of 60, so I failed dramatically in the first game. So let's do that then. Oh, I was going to say something and I completely forgot where it was. Shit, I hate that. Oh, come on, it better come back to me. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. I've lost it. But yeah, oh no, I remember now. Like, I was going to explain who Phil Cassidy is. I think, yeah, it's, um, it's a guy who's like, he's a bit of a, like, hickey kind of guy, he just like sees guns and just sitting around drinking beer and shooting guns and stuff. And yeah, uh, it's a bit of a, a hillbilly or whatever you call him, I don't know. A redneck, that's it. Oh my god, I couldn't find the word there. Man, my brain is getting melted today because <laughs> of work and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, in case you guys don't know, I work like 5 to 10 at night, well not night, evening, so um, I kind of stay up late and do these videos afterwards and I mostly upload like the next day, like I render it all and edit it all at night and then yeah, just gets uploaded the next day after I've slept <laughs> a whole two hours but yeah, we're at the rifle range in downtown What's Phil Cassidy got to say? That's not him. He doesn't look like no hillbilly. This guy? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> God damn redneck. man who can handle a gun. From this setup, I'm not too convinced. Son, I can shoot a fly off your head at 80 feet. Oh, really? Yeah. That's probably not possible, man. <laughs> Glad I don't pay tax. You trying to be funny, kid? <laughs> <laughs> <The shoot. laughs> Guy is clearly on some sort of drugs or just totally drunk. <laughs> wow. But yeah, the gist of this mission is to uh, shoot the targets that will be kind of moving around in your screen. Uh, the back one gets you three points in the bag. The I think the one at the front gets you one point for destroying it all. And I'm guessing the second, the one in the middle, gets you two points. But yeah. Um. In the first round, I think I get like 25 uh, points, which is pretty good. Good start. It's kind of it's kind of difficult to do this actually because uh, Vice City's aiming is not the best. Like it's actually pretty hard to like free aim in this game because it's so like jumpy. Like you press the right analog stick and it jumps way over, even though you just want to move over a wee bit, like a little bit, and uh, you end up missing completely. Like you'll see here, <laughs> there'll be a shitload of if me. Of that examples of me missing in this, <laughs> but um, yeah, you guys can bear it, can't you? Um, 40 f 48 seconds left. Bang! See, look, it's like in the the like, the cursor is dead. Like, has to be precisely in that dot, or it won't like uh, explode the the little yellow piece of sponge or whatever the hell it is. Who knows? <laughs> uh, yeah, I just fire at random, really. Here. <clears throat> and I've ran out of tea. Great. No! 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 
No more tea. <coughs> dun, 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 dun. So yeah, I think the next mission after this is actually the driver, which is a mission that oh, I was dreading for. I was dreading this day, so it was. That mission is gonna really be a bummer. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is the next challenge uh, for Phil Cassidy. It's a gun contest thing. <laughs> and yeah, the targets like just move through the windows and they try and get them. Huh. Like how they've changed it up with. I think, I think these little like um, figures you see, cardboard cutouts, they're actually from GTA 3, I'm sure. Because I, I remember that girl. That girl's on a G in the GTA 3 cover, and so is that guy, I think. Pretty sure. I'm going to actually research that one. Or just look, look at the cover of my GTA 3 disc, which is pretty, pretty damn dusty. I've not played that game in forever, <laughs> to be honest. I, th I think I started another save file after I completed it, actually, and I got quite far. <clears throat> Pardon me, and ooh, my stomach is on fire. But yeah, I need to get around to playing GTA 3 again, that's a, another classic, of course. And I have currently have 48 points, I can't really see that, actually. It's a bit weird. But um, yeah, 48 I think, and yeah, you get uh, 55 or some seconds to do this, so I get like 62, so that was a guaranteed rape. And yeah, it can be annoying this mission, I mean I'm not going to say it's a complete breeze. <laughs> like some people probably could make it look like that, but, well not me for one. <laughs> Cause you know when I record stuff, it's they've got it's got to be like ten times harder, or something's not right, guys. Isn't that right? Just for old Venus, eh? Just for old Jamie boy. But yeah, it's coming to an end now. I need up oh, there we go. That's it. Sixty-two. I finish off with pretty pretty nice. I thought that should have been a another. Uh, point there, but no. Clearly, I'm not. Oh, I'm not allowed to look good at this game. Total score for shoot sixty two. Hit rate fifty eight percent. Wow, that is horrid. That sucks. But yeah, when you go out that door, you get this automatic cutscene. After shooting like that, if you ask me to be your wife, I'd say yeah. <laughs> That's quite worrying, dude. <laughs> How you'd actually say that, but yeah, guys, this is part 33, and I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day, 2000 grand in the bank. Yep, see you guys next time in part.